question about housing. So um, last year, the National Low Income Housing Coalition released a report that there's not any county in the United States that a family making the minimum wage can afford a two bedroom apartment. Um, so what would you do as president to make sure that families um, can afford safe um, housing? So on the broad economic question, you're pointing to something that's really important because on the one hand, we've been affected by the fact that wages haven't risen largely. But also, costs of certain things that you have to have that are not nice to have, but have to have, have gone like this. Well, I mean, costs of other things have gone like this. Like, you can buy a bicycle today for less than it costs, not even in inflation adjusted dollars, when I, than when, when I was a kid. You could, when I was a kid, we had a black and white TV. Today, for less money, you can buy a color TV. You don't even have to get up. I still am amazed by it. You don't have to get up and walk across the room. And as my Polish grandmother would say, open the TV. You can do it from sitting there. And it's flat screen and all this stuff. But it's cheap. You know, but that doesn't make you feel secure. And when you can't afford, as I said earlier, housing, early childhood, higher ed, um, or healthcare, you got a real problem. And housing is a really serious issue that has become even more serious over the last 10 years. I think that we need to dramatically increase the housing vouchers that we have in this country. Half the people that are eligible for those vouchers cannot get them because we have capped their availability. We live in a world where we're willing to give everybody who can get it a mortgage deduction for their home no matter you know how well they're doing. We haven't done the same thing for people who are struggling, even though they're working, to be able to get a housing voucher. So that's one thing I would do. I have a bill that is actually the first bill I'm aware of that anybody in Congress has ever put together on the evictions crisis in this country because uh, having, I don't know if you've read Matthew Desmond's book, mm -hmm. have you? Very good. It's an excellent book, and I called him up after, he, it won the Pulitzer Prize, and I said, will you come by? He came by the office, and we've been working with him for the last two years on housing policies, including one to look, study evictions in the country, because evictions are such a, a, a destructive remedy for families and for our economy, because the dislocation that happens as a result. So what we're trying to do is pull the data together to look at it and see what we could do going from there. Uh, we have to build more housing in this country. Now that is mostly a, a local uh, decision. I work at the local level of government and I know we're going to have to decide in some places that we're going to have more density of housing if we're going to have more affordable housing. And the federal government can incentivize that stuff by, um, by layering in infrastructure dollars when people are, are, are either building more dense housing or more transit-oriented <coughs> development housing or housing that is, you know, better for the environment that we've historically had. And those are some ways that I would approach it. It's a great, it doesn't come up all the time and I'm glad you raised it because it's a really important problem. Sir. 